Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Every wide receiver in the NFL wants to be a top target, and two players will be trying to be that today. It's the Falcons going up against the Panthers. So let's go down to Atlanta, Georgia, where Jim and Phil are on the call. The Panthers are back deep, waiting for the kick. Matt Bosher ready to kick it away to start the game. the 20 and tackled at the 21. He is the first player with 10,000 passing yards and over 1,000 rushing yards in a first three-season career. Quarterback Cam Newton. The Carolina Panthers go to the playoffs last year. They win the NFC South, and Cam Newton had one terrific year. He did it almost by himself on the offensive side, running and throwing. Olsen's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Now first and 10, and Williams has got it on the handoff. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. Number 32. Jim, let's keep our eye on the defense. If they keep giving up runs like this, they're gonna have to change what they're doing on the defensive side. Maybe bring another guy down in the box to stop those runs. This will be second down. Williams handed the football. Williams is tackled down. Imposing their will early on the defense with a solid effort on the ground. Well, we talk so much, don't we, about the passing game in the NFL, but it's still about who can out-hit the other one. And right now, the offense, they are winning that battle. Nice run. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. First and ten. Still got it after the play action. Underneath, but can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. As we take a look at the offense, it'll be calling on a number of times today, running back D'Angelo Williams. Every NFL offense needs a running back like D'Angelo Williams, a guy that can run inside, outside, and make the guy miss. And also, every once in a while, he'll just run you over. Falcons defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Second down and 10. Brings it in along the sideline. As we look at the defense on that front, out of Minnesota, Rashid Hagman. The Atlanta Falcons were so lucky to get him in the second round. He absolutely was a first-round talent. He's athletic, and he's one of the biggest defensive linemen already in the NFL. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Newton's going to take the snap from the shotgun. The defense gets the sack. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Any time on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. And it'll be Nortman back to punt. Favorable bounce this time as it's headed to the end zone for a touchback. And here is quarterback Matt Ryan coming off a season in which he lost his star wideouts to injury, Roddy White and Julio Jones, yet still finished fourth in the league in passing yards, some 4,500 yards strong. Well, the Atlanta Falcons, they need to give Matt Ryan more protection. In 2013, he took a beating like no other quarterback in the National Football League. We know he's good, we know he's tough, but let's let him be great by protecting him. He's got the catch. Games 18. 
Well, the corner route. Some people call it the corner route. They call it a flag, run to the flag of the end zone, or a seven route. Odd numbers break out. That time we see a nice route by the wide receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. Out to White. White taken down at the 46. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards. Gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Jackson's taking the handoff. Tackle down at the 22. The Falcons offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. First down here after the run. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. And Keekly in on the tackle. Second down now. Ryan's lined up, two tight end set. Ryan hits Roddy White. White's there to make the tackle. Hard to throw the football down the field once you get into the red zone. That time the quarterback, well, he knows that. And he looks down there, nobody open deep, throws it short, and they get a nice solid pickup on that play call. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Goal line defense on the field. Looking to go up top again on first down. In his hands, complete touchdown. Well, it's first and goal. I think a lot of defenses are thinking run here. And so the offense, they call a nice play. Very deceptive. They throw the football and they get the easy touchdown pass. The Falcons now will tack on the extra point. He made it. Ryan's going to look on now from the sidelines. That last drive, he contributed more than 50 yards in the air. Lined up now in kickoff formation. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. They face first down. Out to the left. Makes the reception. He stacked up at that point. If you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. That leads us to second down. Cam Newton takes a look down from under center. Trying to work that left side. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Good job that time by the quarterback. Looks down the field. Nobody open, so he throws the drag route. Coming across the field, and it's a nice catch. Just short of the first down. Now looking at third down. Nickel formation here for the defense. End of one here in Atlanta, Georgia. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the second.
Welcome back to the action. Today, it's been all about the defenses. This is third down. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. The tackle was made. Good job by the offensive line there on third and short. Even though the defense knew it was probably going to be a run, still able to get in there and barely get that first down. The Falcons' defense now is going to go nickel. First down at the 30. With two hands, he has it. What can a defensive back do in a situation like this? The answer is nothing. How about the throw right on target by the quarterback and a good route on an out route by the receiver? It's now second down. Newton has everybody split out wide for this snap. Snap it out of the gun. Looks to his left. Sticks to his hands. Benjamin's tackled down at the 45. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. First down here after the completion. Olsen's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Eyeing that left side. They are in the backfield in a hurry and will bring him down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down here. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Williams going to secure the handoff. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. This offense makes it look so easy. Just marching down the field. Now they cross midfield. Let's see what they got going on now. On the way, third down. Cross play here to Williams. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. The Panthers offensive line does a good job on this run. They show their power. The runner able to go up in there and get a first down. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Hand off up the middle. Brought down at the 38. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Second and four. Right back to him. And that's a gain of nine. Williams is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. They're able to move the chains after that last run. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Coming up in two minutes, it's the EA Sports Halftime Show, sponsored by Verizon. And now as we come back to the field, we're looking at a defense trying to maintain a lead going into the break. This long drive continues. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. Got a big lane. Newton's taken down at the 18. Number one on the carry. 
They come to the line, and it's first down. This has been a long drive so far. From the gun, Newton. Games 15. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. First down coming up. Mounting a serious drive. Touchdown. Touchdown, Carolina. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. The Panthers with an extra point try on the way. The point after is good. Falcons await the kick as the game has been tied here late in the second quarter. Scores 7-7. Seven to seven. The Falcons in kick return formation. Hester's going to test the coverage this time. And he's met head on right there at the 20. First down here. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Ryan gives it up. They'll mark the football at the 22. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Following that timeout, offense back out on the field. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. The Panthers come out in the nickel. Matt Ryan from the shotgun throws the pass, finds his mark, and they knock him down just a yard away from the first. The Falcons use another timeout here, and they have one left. It's third down coming up. Ryan from the gun. And he's going to be sacked. So, just three plays and out for the offense. The punter awaits the snap. Signals, fair catch. First down here. The Panthers this time will go with two tight ends. Newton in shotgun formation. He'll throw it over the middle. He has the grab. Contrary is brought down, but not until he gives his team a new set of downs. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. It's Williams in the backfield. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun, looking across the middle, and he's brought down right at the 43. And here we have second down. Wasting no time now for this next play. Newton's got it in the gun. The defense gets a sack. What a good scheme that time by the defense. They confuse the offense. They blitz. They don't know who to pick up. And how about the defender? They must love this. Coming in free and gets a good, clean shot on the QB and gets a sack. So that's going to do it for this first half. We'll be back with our halftime report after the break. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back now at the first half. Both the Falcons and the Panthers are having some trouble moving the ball through the air. 
the yardage totals are low, and that's helped play into what was a low-scoring first half. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Midway through the first quarter, Toy Lolo's the target here. He'll end up picking up 18 yards on the play. Same drive. Here we get a quick pass and completion. And the pass and catch will end up going for 16 yards. Just past the 20, we'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Falcons getting ready now to start their drive. Jackson takes his spot in the backfield. First down at the 22. Douglas had it, but couldn't hold on as this goes incomplete. Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second and 10. Will go ground, trying to power his way right up the middle. Jackson's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Jackson's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Throws to the right. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, he gets a first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. And now, on first down, they'll go back to the air. Almost intercepted. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted, and the guy dropped it, you just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on this break? Second down following that incompletion. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Roddy White makes the reception. When you play this uh, cover three defense, just kind of sit back there and try not to give up the big play. That is great. The problem is you give up all these short plays. How about that throw by the quarterback on that slant pattern at time? Third down now. Nickel formation for the defense here. Jackson, middle. This offense can't be stopped on third down, no matter the distance. Jackson, that time, nice job. Offensive line gives him a little hole, and he gets in there, shows his toughness, and picks up the first down. First down here after the run. Lions back in shotgun formation. Looking to the right side and throwing. And incomplete. What a hit that time. Davis is one of those guys. If he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. Second down and 10 to the outside. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Now it's time for the defensive coordinator to make a different call here. The offense is just marching down the field. You're in your own territory. you got to come up with a stop. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. We don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today has been exactly that. Low-scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and go, oh, that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often. And what it does, it puts a lot of pressure on the players and especially the coaches to make decisions that are going to give their team a chance to win in a game like this. 
First down, offense ready for the snap. Williams is in the backfield. They go draw. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down coming up. Takes a look now from under center. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Brought down after a gain of six. When you spy the quarterback, what it does, it just makes it easier to throw the football and complete those passes. Less people covering the receivers down the field. The completion sets them up now for third and seven. Stewart is in the backfield. Newton's going to take it from the gun. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. And it'll be Nortman back to punt. Hester's going to try and return this punt. This is a big-time return. Hester's able to show off his talent on that punt return that time. What speed and quickness that allows him to break through some of that coverage and picks up good yards. Matt Ryan under center. First and ten. To Jones. That's a gain of six. Well, it's not quite a first down, but a good read, good throw, good catch. Well, a lot of good there, isn't it, Jim? But nice job by the offense. Now they got second and short. Look out. Who knows what the next play is going to be? Second and three. Could have been intercepted. So three quarters in the books, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Third down on the way. Offense lines up here. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Julio Jones with the grab. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time. He throws it down the field for another completion. First down at the 38. Ryan still has it. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. Well, the offense is down here in the red zone or the green zone, if you like to think of money. And it's a tie game. A lot of things you could do. They love to throw it in the end zone, but maybe they'll cross them up with a run. We'll find out. Now first and 10. Has his man. Kaysen's the one who brings him to the ground. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. And now they'll try over again on second down. Ryan takes it from the gun. Throws to the right. Touchdown, Atlanta! Got that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Falcons with the PAT to come. Makes the PAT. Jones is taking a breather as the kicking team comes out. He just contributed over 60 yards receiving on that scoring drive. He had nowhere to go, and they 
Deckham at the 16-yard line. The Panthers bring their offense back on the field for their next drive. It's Williams in the backfield. First and 10. That's Newton over to Olsen for the catch. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. That's second down coming up. They've come out in the dime package. Setting up screen. And Williams. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. But you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Stewart's going to take the handoff now. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Got to give the defense some credit. On the first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down coming up. Olsen's playing out of position in the backfield here. Time's running out of this one. Midway through the fourth. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. Olsen's moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. Third down and three. And he's taken down. We got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down, and they get back to the quarterback and take him down. The Panthers have to punt the football. break huddle and start their drive this time from the 38. The clocks really become a factor here and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. And tackled down at the 43 yard line. I think the best thing to say about that play is just a, it gained a few yards so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple of yards. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Two minutes remaining in this nail biter. Can the offense hold on to the football and run out the clock? Coming up, second down. It's a two tight end formation. Gives it to Steven Jackson. Breaks free. An open lane. Picks up eight here. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. Nickel formation here for the defense. Play fake. Catch made. And it's Roman Harper who makes the tackle. And they're going to call the timeout here to stop the clock. The pass play was good for five. Second and five coming up. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Takes it from the eye. He's brought down right around the 43-yard line. That's a timeout call. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. 
Jackson's lined up in a single back formation. To the ground. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Offense lines up here. Handoff out of the eye formation. Brought down at the 32. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Two tight ends on the field here. The give trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. Jackson's marked down at the 27. That was a good call by the offensive coach that time. They needed one first down to win this game to seal things up. He makes the right call, and they get a big first down. Offense lines up here. Takes the knee. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Matt Ryan under center. The Falcons have it at the 29. They'll mark him at the 29. Interesting situation here for the offense. They got a lead here in the second half, but it's third long. And and you always like to say, the football is in the hands of the quarterback, so he has to be smart. If he tries to force it down the field, I do not like his chances. Corners formation here for the defense. Takes the knee. How much sweeter is practice going to be this week after the win on that sideline? Once you win, practice is easier because your confidence is high. You feel good about what you've done from the previous week because you won. So I think it always gives you a better chance of winning the following week because you feel so good when you're out there in that practice field. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.